Well, welcome back after lunch. Um, this is the time for put your feet up, a cup of coffee, a little gentle snooze. Um, we're going to finish this morning's session. We didn't quite have time to, uh, for uh, the video from uh, Liège, from Belgium, um, and then we'll move into um, Laura's afternoon uh, session. Okay, so we could run the film, please. Hi there, my name is Lara Feyen. I am Assistant Director at the Wallonia Transport Museum. I regret not being present in Prague, but I am very happy to have the opportunity to present the actions carried out by the Wallonia Transport Museum in terms of raising awareness of sustainable development. I will start by briefly introducing the museum. The Wallonia Public Transport Museum is located in Liège, in the French-speaking part of Belgium. The museum opened its doors in 1985. It is housed in a former tram depot. An important part of the collection has been gathered by enlightened amateurs since the 1960s. The permanent exhibition presents around 50 vehicles illustrating the history of urban mobility from the 18th century to the present day. Coaches, horse-drawn and electric trams, trolley buses, buses and service vehicles. The exhibition is completed with objects, documents, photographs, soundscapes, audiovisual and interactive devices. The collection includes about 50 restored vehicles, about 20 vehicles awaiting restoration, about 3,000 objects, a photographic and audiovisual collection of approximately 5,000 documents, an intangible heritage fund of about 50 interviews of staff and transport users. The museum has been labelled Category B Museum by the Fédération Wallonie-Bruxelles. A Category B Museum on a scale of D to A, A being the major museums. However, it is still a small museum in terms of financial and human resources. The team consists of seven people, corresponding to six full-time equivalent, supplemented periodically by external guides and volunteers. In 2010, the museum redefined its scientific and cultural projects. Here are the main points. Situate the history of transport in a broader context, and study the history of mobility by adopting a transdisciplinary approach. Put the human being at the center of the problem, which implies, among other things, to consider the history of mobility from the point of view of the users of public transport. Study and present current issues related to mobility. The museum thus aims to be a place of exchange and debate. Make its collection, buildings, services, and programs accessible to all audiences. Be part of a sustainable development approach, both in terms of public awareness and in terms of the overall management of the museum. Sorry. In terms of sustainable development, the museum team tries to adopt progressively a global policy. This is marked, among other things, by the reduction of waste, with, for example, the reuse of exhibition elements in temporary exhibitions and in the permanent exhibition. The renovation of spaces like, a, like our cafeteria, applying an eco-design process. The policy of accessibility to all publics with, among other things, a project such as Tourisme pour tous, Tourism for Everyone, targeted to vulnerable groups, and Transport d'ici et d'ailleurs, Transport from here and elsewhere, a project of intercultural encounters around mobility developed with group of newcomers. 
but above all, since 2010, a significant part of the museum's activities and has been geared toward raising awareness about sustainable mobility. Sustainable mobility is addressed within the permanent exhibition, particularly in the area dedicated to sustainable mobility, which presents a definition of the concept and a presentation of its challenges, an overview of innovative projects in Belgium and elsewhere in the world, a presentation of cities that have conducted an interesting global policy in terms of sustainable mobility. Here you see, for example, the city of Gand, Ghent, in the Dutch-speaking part of Belgium. Liège not being yet a model in terms of sustainable mobility. We have also in this area an interactive bike that allows you by ringing the bell to switch from a city badly adapted to cycling to a city with first class cycling facilities. We also address sustainable mobility in issues in our temporary exhibition, like for example, Enjoy Electric in 2013, Cité Cyclo, Cycling in Cities in 2016, Amsterdam Gram, dedicated to the future tram, Liège tram, in, which opened in 2020. Sustainable mobility is also part of our research and publication programs. We have also organized lectures and colloquia on the subject with various partners. And above all, it is present in our educational activities. I would now like to present in more details one of our education program, Mobility and Intermodality, yesterday and today, which is a very long title. This program has been developed by the education team since 2010. The activity, which lasts a whole day, includes a museum visit, the screening of an animated short film followed by a discussion, a game session in the museum, and finally, an intermodal rally in the town. The first part of the programme takes place in the museum and the second outside the museum in the city itself. This programme was first designed for primary schools, so children aged 6 to 12, and then adapted later to other audiences. The on-site part of the programme begins with the museum visit. During the visit, the guide explains the evolution of public transport and mobility in the Liège region, while making links with town planning, the development of the city, as well as with the economic and social context. The student can then better understand the choices that were made at certain times, such as, for example, the removal of the entire public transport electrical network, trams and trolleybuses, in the 60s and early 70s. They will also realize that certain means of transport from the past, like bicycle or trams, can inspire mobility solutions for the present. The visit ends with the area devoted to sustainable mobility. Students discover innovative projects in urban mobility and inspiring solutions implemented by cities to solve mobility problems. The student will, will then watch an animated short film devoted to mobility in the museum's auditorium. It is followed by a discussion during which children can express their ideas, their feelings, explain the problems they observe on a daily basis and the way in which they imagine the future of urban mobility. This half day in the museum ends with a game, a sort of treasure hunt. Students must symbolically clear a traffic jam. They answer questions and carry out tests in order to remove toy cars from the playmat and replace them by public transport, buses and tram. The second half day takes place outside the museum. 
in order to better understand present urban mobility issues and to make them more concrete, children will make a journey from the museum to the city centre and then back to the museum. During this intermodal rally, they will take alternative modes of transport, alternative to the car, uh, like the bus, the train, and walking. This is also an opportunity for some students to test public transport, because at that age, before 12, uh, some of them have never taken the bus or train yet. Throughout the day, children have small missions to fulfill in connection with mobility, observe, answer questions, classify images. They can just observe in situ urban developments related to mobility in the city and observe their evolution over time. In partnership with the sport department of the city of Liège, a half day of initiation to cycling can be organized in addition. The success of this program has led us to adapt it over time according to demands. The program has been adapted to meet the demands of secondary schools, so children aged 12 to 18. The short film has been replaced by a documentary on a sustainable neighborhood or city. A world cafe type of discussion replaces the game. I assume everybody knows what a world cafe means. So participants discuss an issue in small groups around tables, like in a cafe. And at regular intervals, they change tables and issues in order to fertilize the discussion with ideas from the previous groups. At the end of the process, the main ideas are summarized with the whole group. The rally has been adapted to meet the school curriculum and teachers' expectations. The route has been modified in order to integrate notions of urban planning. Children will, for example, observe the evolution of a street in the museum area, gradually changing from a pleasant tree line promenade to a urban, a urban highway and then returning to a calmer street. There is also less focus on the practical side of traveling by public transport as most, as most teenagers regularly used urban transport at that age. The program was then adapted for groups of adults. The first request on this subject came from an association active in professional reintegration. We have then adapted the rally as part of two important projects of the museum. I already told, told you about that, Tourisme pour tous and Transport d'ici et d'ailleurs, Tourism for everybody and Transport from here and elsewhere. So two important projects, one intended for people in precarious situation and the other is an intercultural project of encounters around mobility. To meet the objectives of these projects, the documentary has been replaced by a participatory film produced by the museum in which the scenario evolves according to the choices made by the participants. The film serves as support for a discussion around mobility issues. Finally, the museum visit and the rally in town leave more place for more room for discussion and exchange of experience. So, are we good promoters of sustainable mobility? We hope so. <laughs> by showing the evolution of mobility in Wallonia and by explaining the reasons for this evolution, by presenting examples of successful transition in various cities of the world, as well as recent developments in our city. By discussing it freely with our visitors, we hope to demonstrate that transition towards a, sustain, a more sustainable mobility can positively impact daily life in cities. I thank you very much for your attention and I wish you a very interesting and pleasant stay in Prague.